Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to No Man's Sky Polestar Expedition 8. Uh, this is part two, three, four. This is part four. After yesterday's chaos, um, shopping madness, uh, today we're going to do some more sensible stuff. Uh, let's grab this milestone first, the Engine of Life, which gives us the double cultivation chamber. We'll be able to build that as well. As soon as I know the ingredients. There they are right there. So we're going to need some silver and some facium for that. Did I not put away facium? Oh, I don't know because I don't have access to that. Uh, we got a scanner module. Let's move that to there and grab the scanner module. We'll make a little extra cash that way. And was there something else? Uh, another mining beam, but um, high energy beam. No, what we want is the advanced mining beam. All right. Uh, today we're going to start with this. Uh, we're going to um, uh, construct the orbital exocraft materializer. We ducked into the anomaly right at the end yesterday to avoid fighting. Uh, the Sentinels, which given how badly the fight with the pirates went. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, it's looking, nope, that one's aggressive Sentinels too. Uh, we definitely want to find a water planet that doesn't have aggressive Sentinels. There's water in this system too. So we'll go ahead and call the freighter there. Aggressive sentinels abound. Uh, we only really need to be on the surface for just a minute. But um, after all the chaos yesterday, I thought we would just try to find some place more chill, more chill to go. That is not more chill. That is less chill. Does not appear to be water there. Um, said there's water here. Aha! What's that right there? Paradise planet. Very cool. Uh, discovered by Super Tiger 34. Super duper. Thanks for finding a paradise planet and all this chaos. Super tiger. <laughs> Boom. All right. Let's go uh, do some construction. I think we need... Uh, oh, we don't have a teleporter. For goodness sake. We need silver. We have six. And uh, we probably need gold as well. No, we have gold. So let's grab that gold. And that'll only take a second. There we go. Back to the freighter with you. And, oh, it actually gave us two, ni two mining beams. Now, we could have picked up a multi-tool uh, from our expedition rewards. We can teleport back to the freighter. We just don't have the teleport yet teleporter yet. Uh, for that, we're going to need an amino chamber. Oh, there's a gold nugget, too. And what's this? Suspicious packet? Uh, blaze javelin. We don't need that. Hopefully we can get in without getting scanned. <laughs> I am uh, filming this episode immediately following the Super Chaos episode. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it Super Chaos in honor of Super Tiger who found that paradise planet, which is really awesome. I was going to say super awesome, but I thought I was pushing my luck. <laughs> All right. Let's get some more nanites. I don't have a problem. What is your problem? Very rude, the Corvax. Quite often, very, very rude. Oh, this is cool. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, it's too bad. But it is pretty cool. How much is it? 3.3 million, huh? All right. We'll consider it. We need some silver. Uh, there's the metal plating that we need. And this place doesn't have any silver. I don't like those doors. I have never liked them ever since they put them in. Uh, but, you know, we put up with them. Airlocks. Or maybe they're there to quiet down the noise from the landing bay. That lemium is gold. Uh, we don't need paraffin right now. I think we have enough uh, ferrite that if we need more magnetized or pure ferrite, we can just make it. Uh, that's the same stuff that the other guy had. That's odd. Hi. I'm glad I can't hear you talking. I'm sure whatever it is, it's incredibly rude. <laughs> All right, let's teleport back to the freighter. <laughs> Save a little bit of time. There might be some aronium in here. We'll check really quick. Oh my goodness. Oh, I missed the second one. Here we go. <laughs> Ah, but there's uh, there's the amino chamber we need. And this place also has solar mirrors and hydraulic wiring. So we're gonna hang out in this system probably until we get everything built. Ah, that was a force of habit. <laughs> Teleport to your freighter. We're never gonna be able to do that because the freighter is a moving object. How many times have I said that? <laughs> you all can't know how many times I've said that because people have DM'd me to ask me why we can't teleport to our freighter. I don't know why, uh, turn around, thank you. I don't know why they think that I'd know, but that is why, because the freighter was a moving object. And the only way to fix that teleporter was to make it an actual buildable room on the freighter. And plus it went with the whole theme. Hang on a second. All right, now then. Uh, I, ha I am drinking a beer. <laughs> After yesterday's chaos, I am drinking a uh, Henry uh, Weinhardt's Gourmet Soda root beer and it is I never would have said this five years ago but this Henry Weinhardt's is absolutely the best root beer I've ever had all right now then without wasting too much uh, now we'll have to build a door to go that way we'll go this way all right orbital exocraft thingy. There we go. I love that these are actually milestones. This is going to give us the Nautilon chamber. And Exocraft Specialist rooms. Alright. And there's that. We can actually build that. Why it says we can't build the Nautilon, I don't know because I am quite sure that I got all of the parts for that. I do. All right. Uh, let's see on the guide here. Let's actually look in the build menu. Um, Exocraft room, refiner room, orbital exocraft materializer, uh, plant room, double cultivation chamber we can build. We do have enough facium for that. We'll put it over here. Oh, we don't have the facium for that. Why did it say I did at first? All right, let's 
smart aleck. <laughs> Let's go do it. All right, I have the hiccups, so <laughs> sorry about that. All right. We don't need to go to the sunny side of the planet, but I very much would like to see this planet. And that's, that's definitely not where it's sunny. How did I totally miss the sun? It's so huge. <laughs> there, look, it, there's three of them. <laughs> I, don't know how I missed it. <sighs> all right, a paradise planet. I think you all know what that means by now. Paradise planet means you are absolutely safe. Oh, look at that. Isn't that perfect? We'll land on this really low one because that's where we need to go. I mean, the sky color could use to be blue or, you know, purple. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> oh, this, uh, Thing needs to be completely submerged so we'll have to find water that's deep enough to hold it let's see if this water is that's not the right thing there right there all right uh, oh let's go get in it I forgot we have to formalize that this is so weird very cool. All right, freedom of the seas indeed. We'll scan a few things while we're here. <laughs> oh, that was an entity. <laughs> I thought that was. <laughs> I thought that was one of these things that I haven't scanned. There we go. <laughs> Lots of unknown entities. Oh, there's lots of cool stuff around. God, I can't even see it all. Oh, move out of my way. Little fishes. Here we go. <laughs> Ouch. Is there any more? No more little fishes? Okay. <laughs> Just dipping my toes in the nice cool water. <laughs> Don't be so growly. No reason for you to growl. There we go, 25 species. That is fantastic. Let me uh, check and see if we still have minerals to scan. Um, no, it wouldn't be the one that we finished. Uh, four more. So we'll get those done too while we're just standing here. Here we go. It's two. Ah, it says I already got that little one. That must be the same as that other one I saw. I do like these little uh, striped ones. They're so Dr. Seuss. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's something up here I can scan. There's gotta be some pure ferrite around here. Hi, I know. You know what? I, I kind of need you. Let's uh let's make some animal food and get them all going here. Oops. No, that one right there. There we go. We'll get them pooping. <laughs> 
Seems like an odd thing to do. <laughs> Go to an alien planet and get them pooping. All right, that should be minerals. There we go. So that's plants and minerals. And, uh, yep, plants. Um, oh, that's the building one. That's the one we're doing. That's minerals and animals. All right, very cool. Oh, 25 more creature pellets. <laughs> I definitely did not need to do that. <laughs> All right. And uh, we'll go for that one. Salvage frigate modules. Awesome. And salvage data. Perfect. 25 salvage data. We're building up the salvage frigate modules too, which is uh, awesome. And that's for building the Nautilon. Very cool. All right. Oops. Uh, have you guys started pooping yet? Because I would appreciate your poop. Could you move, please? Just two of you are pooping? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's not enough poop, sorry to say. We'll have to go get some more. Um, those must have been predators. And they chased all the other creatures away. <laughs> How many creatures can we get with that? You two can poop again if you want to. Hi. I saw, uh, what did I see? Uh, absolutely saw a knowledge stone. And another creature. We don't need these anymore, I'm just doing it now. But as you can see, we're up to 105,000 now. And uh, that was just one scanner, so we definitely need the facium. So let's go back to this. Uh, phase two, last thing we need to do. Uh, oh, we got to do the cult, double cultivation chamber and the teleport chamber. Oh, I needed to be on that. And I don't know if freighter build parts are separate. They are. Okay, teleport chamber. We have everything but the antimatter. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I think we need to get condensed carbon. We have 310, we should be okay. Come on guys, poop. Thank you. Hurry up and do some pooping. I'm in need. <laughs> There's some more. <laughs> How much do I have? 170 is plenty. Let's go. <laughs> There's a little bit left over to plant some. <laughs> Making creatures poop. Sean, you're a child. <laughs> Let's go ahead and save. Just to be safe. <laughs> Such a child. All right. Uh, I, I know that my freighter is like on the other side of the planet, so we're just going to bring it over here rather than goof off. <laughs> I forgot that I told you guys we were going to change the color of the freighter uh, as soon as we had that uh, color that I like. And uh, we can definitely check that and check and see how many salvage frigate modules we have uh, while we're on the bridge. There we go. I'll come around here to the uh, upgrade control panel. Customize appearance. We do. We have purple, so let's do it. And yes, we'll save that change and take a look. There it is. It is such a nice color, especially with the black. You know, this is a great looking freighter. I really like it. And the other thing we wanted to know is how many salvage frigate modules we have now. Eight, which is great. We do need to get that um, so that we can move on. It gave us this one. And uh, so we'll want to get the next one, which is also eight. But it's going to keep giving us salvage frigate modules. All right, let's go build a teleporter. We desperately need this thing. 
Um, yeah, we can put it right here. There we go. Finally. Ah, nice. Uh, what I really like about this phase is that all of the things that it asks you to build uh, are milestones. And so um, it gives you that milestone uh, for building and gives you the next part. So we just got technology expansion rooms. There we go. Which is basically just an empty room, which is nice. And there is the construction specialist room so that you can start uh, your um, expanding the base uh, mission. There's the advanced mining beam. We need carbon nanotubes and a hermetic seal. So we'll go ahead and make those carbon nanotubes and hermetic seal. Oh, there, oh, oh, there we go. Advanced mining laser. Awesome. Now we're out of room. We don't even have room for a gun. And we've got too much stuff on us, so we either need to get a multi-tool uh, and or something, I don't know. Uh, let's see, now we need to construct the double cultivation room, which we can do over here. Double cultivation room. I'm going to go ahead and put in two of those because that is a lot of carbon, you guys. It is a huge amount of carbon. And there we go. There we go. There's that one. Now we have the biological room plans and the nutrient uh, room plans. There is biological room, which we can uh, add to this, and the nutrient room. And there are all of the plants. So let's see here. Let's put the nutrient room uh, in the back. What do we need? Pure ferrite. Okay, we'll cook that. Uh, here we go. In there. And let's see if we can do the other one. Should be able to. Oh, is it interfering with something else? Yeah. And I would like to put that right there. And I don't think that we have the outside walkway yet, but we will get it pretty soon. We have a little balcony we can look at. All righty. Let's, oops, let's grab this. And we will put in the nutrient room. There we go. Now we have a nutrient processor, uh, which means that we can make millions and millions of creature pellets if we want. All right. Uh, let's see here. Plants, face them. Everybody's in my way. Everybody move. <laughs> and we are out of face them, but it'll grow in four hours and I can plant some more. So that's pretty nifty. And uh, there's something behind this wall, though. Oh, just this stuff. All right. Well, we'll leave it there for a little while, and then we'll fix it. All right. Now, phase two is done. And there's our uh, high-gravity freighter trail customization, which you put in right here. Uh, customized appearance, is it? Engines? And uh, there's this one that I like, and this is the one that we just got, which looks trippy, but I like this one. So we'll keep that one. We already had that green one. All right. We need to get over to the space station and dump all this stuff. Uh, rendezvous three, and that gives us the stellar extractor room and then recruit pilots. So let's go over here to manage squadron and we'll buy this slot okay the next one is 3500 the one after that is 3500 3500 uh, we need three pilots but I think that we can hire and fire we have a teleporter now I think we can hire and fire these pilots 
There it is. <laughs> Where's the teleporter? I don't know. Current system. There we go. Time for some more beer. Sarsaparilla flavored dark lager. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump in and out of our ship uh, to set off the landing and taking off. There we go. And it's a short runway, so we don't actually have to keep an eye on it. Let's go up here. Let's not go that way, ever. I've been trying for years. And let's go ahead and buy this C-Class multi-tool. There we go. Very cool. It is. It's actually really nice. Okay. We need uh, the mining beam. Uh, it can be on the side. And we need the scanner. Uh, for that, we need another hermetic seal because I used it. I'll do advanced mining beam. There we go. And let's see what we have here. Scanners. Oh, there's ships landing. Uh, Humboldt Drive and Humboldt Drive will sell those uh, right here. I can hear the ships landing. There we go. And what do you have, my friend? Pulse spitter. I like that. We have to. We'll have to go learn how to make a pulse spitter. And the salvage data is awesome. Look at this thing. 1.2 million. All right. Remember earlier, uh, excuse me, sir. Remember earlier when I was talking to you badly? It was only because you didn't have what I wanted. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I, I have an offer that uh, because of game programming, you can't refuse. <laughs> yes, that's the offer. <laughs> All right, that's one. <laughs> There's nothing like beating them, brow beating them. <laughs> Hello. Uh, welcome to my teleporter room. I'm going to have to fix that. I don't like, I don't like waking up to a wall. Oh, uh, that way. Okay, let's check the, um, let's check and see if we can do this. So on the expedition, it says to um, hire uh, pilots. Uh, where is it? Expand your fleet. Yes, we need to buy a lot more. Um, of those things. Recruit three pilots. Wing commander, install a ship bay to recruit a pilot to your squadron. Okay, I did that. Manage squadron. There he is, right there. I'm trying to just to to figure out if I have to actually have three pilots. And it does not appear to be counting them one at a time. It should say one of three if it's going to work, if it's going to even show. It does not say one of three. So let's do this, even though it's super expensive. Recruit a pilot to your squadron. All right. Uh, man, no, no, no. I don't know what that button was, but that's not the one I wanted. <laughs> this guy, dismiss pilot. All right, let's go back to the space station or downstairs maybe. Sounds like there's ships on the, on the actual freighter. There's one right there. Hi. You look like you need a job. 
recruit life form recruit he's gonna leave anyway hi <laughs> recruit let's see if it worked nope you have to actually do all three so it was worth testing it was worth trying it because if you can then you save all those nanites that you uh, desperately, desperately need. Manage squadron. Uh, yeah, we've still got it. So add slot. And back downstairs. See if anybody showed up. Oh, that was, that's going to be my ship down there. That was weird. Flashing light coming out the back window there. All right, well, I'm not going to wait for people to show up because that takes too long. Bay doors aren't even open. Um, he looked like he was going to smack me in the head. I super don't blame him. <laughs> space stations. We'll go back to the space station. <laughs> to get in and out of our ship again. I just can't remember what these are for, so I'm going to buy a few of them. Uh, we don't need any more amino chambers. We do need more of those and more of those. Let me put them away because apparently the game... Oh, that's why. That's why the game doesn't do it. Um, no. <laughs> there we go. All right. I need one more of you degenerates. <laughs> You see, I'm not even being selective, and here's the reason why. I don't like this. I don't like these pilots, and um, because they get in between me and what I'm shooting at. And uh, while you can't damage your uh, squadron fellows anymore, uh, like you could at the beginning, um, they're still in between you and what you're trying to shoot. So if you're using a weapon that can overheat, um, then you end up with an issue of overheating your weapon without actually hitting your target. So, goodbye. Goodbye to all of those nanites that I was forced to spend. <laughs> and we will get that wing commander. Supreme Pulse Engine Upgrade, Supreme Launch Thruster Upgrade, Supreme Starship Shield Upgrade. The Shield Upgrade we can definitely use. Uh, there we go. And we're going to have to move this Corvax casing, apparently. I don't know why it's still there. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Phase 3. Uh, construct the stellar room and for that we need to go to the rendezvous uh, we will fly uh, to that system um, I'm kind of lost <laughs> and look at all these ships landing now <laughs> where were you guys when I needed you <laughs> Now we can leave our Nautilon chamber here because we have a device on our freighter that makes it so that no matter where we are in Euclid Galaxy, um, we can call that Nautilon uh, to, that, um, to that place because we have this device on our freighter which is a, you know, basically an exocraft matter beam. It beams it to us. Uh, when we pick up next time, we are going to start in Rendezvous 3 system. We gotta get there first. 
Oh, that's a pretty planet. I think it pretty much has a yellow sky, though. This might kick off another freighter battle. Which we won't do right away, because we were so far over time yesterday. Yesterday, chaos shopping. Super chaos. Advanced chaos. I would even hazard to say, without tooting my own horn. <laughs> wow, it's a long way. Maybe we should use the freighter after all. <laughs> the freighter has a better hyperdrive range. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. Well, we're going to have to stop here. Wow, there's a lot of them. Uh, where's... It's usually right here somewhere. There it is. All right. Don't shoot at me. I'm busy. Jerk face. <laughs> In your own time, Golden Vector. In your own time. There we go. We will start tomorrow with killing pirates, uh, which I suggest you do this way. Um, if you're really good at fighting pirates, <coughs> moose gaming, uh, then you just go ahead and take on any old, uh, you know, scan that you get in space. Uh, but if you're not so great at it, take on the freighter battles, because they're, like, every three warps, and, yeah, they're fine. We'll pick up it when we, uh, right here, next time. Thank you all so much for coming along. I do hope you have a great night. Bye-bye.